So for problem 51, we want to express this number here as a ratio of, of integers, and we're going to do it using infinite series. Now, it's important to note that 0 0.8888 repeating, um, that's just the same thing as adding 0 0.8 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.008 plus 0 0.0008, and so on and so forth, right? Because if we were to add it, we would get 0 0.8888, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, you can see that we're just adding these terms that have 8, but then with every single term, it's like it goes a decimal over. And if we add these infinitely, we're going to get this 0 0.8 repeating. So... Um, that's the 0 0.8, this is just 8 times 10 to the negative 1, right? Because it's 8 times 0 0.1, which is 10 to the negative 1. And this 0 0.08, that's just 8 times 10 to the negative 2. Because 10 to the negative 2 is 0 0.01 and multiplied by 8. This is just 8 times 10 to the negative 3. This is just 8 times 10 to the negative 4, and so on and so forth. So what we can do here is we can express 0 0.8 repeating as a sum of 8 times 10 to the negative n and our first term that we added was 0.8, and 0.8 is 8 times 10 to the negative 1, so our first index is going to go from 1 to infinity. So that's the, the big idea here, is just recognizing that we're adding these decimal powers infinitely, and they are a multiple of 8. So once we're here, we want to um, rewrite this with n as a positive exponent, just so that we can rewrite this as a geometric series. So that's going to be 1 uh, from 1 to infinity, and 8 and 10 to the, to the power of negative n can be described as 1 divided by 10 to the power of n. Um, and let me raise this here so that it doesn't get confusing. All right, so we were able to get to this formula here, which is 8 times 1 divided by 10 to the power of n from 1 to infinity. Now, if you compare this to a geometric formula, which goes from 1 to infinity of a times r to the power of n, we can see here that a, which is this constant that is multiplied, is 8. So a is equal to 8 in this situation. And the ratio, which is a thing being raised to the power of n, is 1 um, one tenth and r is going to be 1 tenth. Now, for this geometric series con to converge, we need the ratio to be, the absolute value of the ratio to be less than 1, and that's definitely true, right? The absolute value of 1 ten is less than 1, so it means that this converges. So if this converges, then we can use the formula for the sum. So the formula for the sum is going to be a sub 1, so the first term divided by 1 minus r, whenever this converges. So given that we know that this converges because the ratio is um, 1 over 10, which is less than 1, we're going to say that this whole thing is going to be a sub 1. So a sub 1 is the first value for the first index. So if we plug in the first index, we're going to have a sub 1 is going to be 8 times 1 over 10 to the power of 1, which is just going to be 8 over 10. So we're going to have a sub 1, which is 8 over 10 divided by 1 minus the ratio, and remember that the ratio is just 1 over 10, 1 minus 1 over 10. So if we do this, that's 8 over 10 on the numerator, and 1 minus 1 tenth is just 9 over 10, right? And so if we do this here, we can see that the, the denominator cancels out, because they both have 10 as a denominator, so that's just going to be 8 over 9. And this works, because if you plug in 8 over 9 in your calculator and you expand it as a decimal, you're going to see that it is, in fact, 0.88888 and so on infinitely. So that is it for problem um, 51. All we did here was we took this expanding decimal and we realized, okay, this is just 8 times um, 8 times point. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on and so forth, which in turn is just 8 times 10 to the minus n, so it's that sum, right? 
So 8 times 10 to the minus 1, plus 8 times 10 to the minus 2, plus 8 times 10 to the minus 3, and so on and so forth. So we were able to express this as a geometric sum, and we saw that the ratio is less than 1, so it means that this whole thing converges, and since it converges, we were able to use the the formula for the sum, and once we plug in the values for the formula of the sum, we get the result of 8 over 9.